All right, so now we are going to pin our J1939 splice block, and we are using the two pin cable. So what we're going to do is on each side, we're going to press up on this gray tab. That's what locks the connector. Slide this off. And then we're going to look for our empty terminals here. We're going to first start with our yellow pin. And we are going to face it with the wire side going toward the center and the largest part of the connector going away from the center. So all we're going to do, snap that in here. You'll hear it click. And then we're going to do the same for our green connector. So I'm going to locate empty spot on here right there. You're going to take the wire side going towards the middle and a large part of the connector going away from the middle. We're going to line this up. And again, you'll hear that one snap in. So now all that's left to do is put our locking tab back on the connector. This has got two tabs on it. The other side has one. So you'll see that reference on the black side of the connector. And you'll also hear that snap back into place. And there you have it. Install of our backbone connection is complete.